Hello and welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty and NCAA Football 2003. Today we've got a doubleheader. We are going to be taking on the Alabama Crimson Tide and currently I believe the number four ranked Tennessee Volunteers. We're traveling to Knoxville for that one. Should be a really good contest I hope. And uh, let's see, there we go. Who we got? We got Perez in the chat, Tyler Rocky. What's going on, everybody? Hope y'all are doing well this fine evening. All right, make sure everything's all good to go. Got my chat up, and we are ready to rock. As soon as I locate my controller. There it is. All right. All right, here's first matchup. Alabama. Struggling, uh, to say the least, in this dynasty. They're three and six. They're ranked seventy-fourth nationally. Uh, yeah, they're just they're just not doing well. They've been pretty bad in this series so far. Let's whip up on the low tide. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna try. Uh, and then we'll be traveling to Knoxville, like I mentioned, taking on the fourth-ranked Tennessee Volunteers, and they are. I mean, they're very good. They did lose once this season so far. Let's take a quick look at Alabama's schedule. See what they've been doing this season, who they beat, who they lost to, all that fun, happy stuff. All right, started off with a win against South Florida. Uh, got rickrolled by Oklahoma. Kentucky beat up on them a little bit. UTEP, I mean, it's not really a surprise. UTEP is 8-0 on the season. Look at the combined opponent's record for Alabama, 62-38, and 38, as the Crimson Tide are now a two-star program. That is tough. They did beat Arkansas, played Georgia close, beat Southern Miss 61-59. to 59. Oh, my God. I wish I could see the box score on that bad boy. Almost beat Ole Miss, who's having a great season, and played Tennessee pretty close, so... You know, they're not a pushover. They, they, you know, Oklahoma did crush them, but, you know, they played uh, the SEC teams pretty close. So let's get into it. See if you can't get the dub. See, what is Alabama wearing? All white? Oh, we're going to go all maroon, of course. Playbook. Wait, what? Playbook is Texas Tech. And that was just on NC State. What's happening? Give me my playbook. Don't you mess with me, game. Don't you do it again. Of course, I gotta back out and make sure the audio's on. It is? Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? Lovely televised game. Uh, of course, it switched back to Mississippi State. Why does it do that? That's so weird. Alright. Let's get it, boys! You love seeing that two-star for Alabama? Yeah, that's just... That's, that's really tough, man. <laughs> They've been really bad in this series so far. Just keeps on continuing. I might have a sponsor for the channel soon. Just got to stream a little bit more often. I'm going to try to stream every day. More on that after the guys. Bill, Mississippi and Scott Field, the site for our football contest today. And we couldn't have asked for better weather for today's game between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. with Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso ready to bring you another incredible matchup as the season starts to wind down and we'll see which teams will be left standing after it's all said and done. The Crimson Tide appear to be completely overmatched in this one. What do you think, Kirk? Uh, there's no question about it. This one's going to be pretty ugly. Mississippi State has so many weapons offensively, but it all starts with their outstanding quarterback. Now against this defense, I look for him to have no problem spreading the ball around. This could be a career day. Yep, no question, Kirk. 
Mississippi State is going to throw the ball at this inferior secondary the entire game. This will be an aerial assault from the get-go. And yo, this one could get ugly, Kirk. Thank you, guys. The team captains are on the field, and this game is about to get underway. All right. Let's do this. Oh, you know what? I, I, I want the ball. I want the ball. Give me the ball right now. I need it. I need it in my life. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening. So anyways, back to the sponsor. He's been subscribed to this guy for a very long time, and he's got his own coffee company. So I'm going to see if I can't get sponsorship from him. Oh, my goodness. Moreno! All the way inside the 40-yard line. Let's go, baby! Yo, this kid is a sensational kick returner. He did a perfect job of reading his blocks on that kick return. Almost perfect. Eh, that's what I said. Almost perfect. All right, Lee. Come on now. We don't need to hear you. Until the final whistle. That was a great way to start off the game, though. I like that. All right, let's try to establish the ground attack. If we want to beat Tennessee, we got to be able to run the football. Because they are a very well-rounded program. Okay, Dalton. Okay, baby. All right, we're doing well. I'm loving it. Moreno looking to have a big day on returns. Well, I'm hoping that they just don't kick it off again all game, you know? Yeah, that sponsor would be awesome, man. I've been subscribed to that guy for, I don't even know how long, probably like 10 years. But he doesn't have any problem. He's got over a million subscribers, and he doesn't have any problem um, letting smaller channels have a sponsorship from him. I don't know who's open. Oh, dang it. That Garrett wide open. All right, they're down to 10. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. Let's try corner route. Right side. Orlando Webb, baby. Nope. He's open, though. Let's go, Davis. Oh, my goodness. He was so fast, I, I couldn't even control him. His momentum was just too great. Don't forget to slap the like button, folks, and subscribe if you're new. A lot more football content coming your way. Oh, let's go, Garrett. Oh, that should have been a touchdown. No huddle. Let's go. Pick up the pace. A little up-tempo. Easy money. Easy money. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Just like that. Minute and a half off the clock. Six points on the board. Let's go. See what the defense can do. They're going to come out with five wide receivers? What in the heck? Incredible. Who is this quarterback? Taylor. Oh, no. Good thing he sucks. <laughs> Let's go. Basically uh, started off uh, kind of a Hail Mary there and whiffed on it. Let's go defense. Pump, 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 pump it up. 
I got deep middle. And they're gonna run it. That's a big running back, Mr. Lewis. Yo, what up, Audrey? How you doing? Oh, dang it. That's a tough play to try to make. 31-yard pass for Bama. Tackle by Tyler. That's actually the fullback, Lewis. Okay. The one play that he had the ball looked like he was the running back in that formation. <laughs> Just ducky. Nice. Option. Oh, that was a nice juke. What? No way. Get out of here. That was crazy. May tackles Ray. Okay. Mr. Pope. Ninth ranked defense in the nation for the Bulldogs. Mr. Plaster, how you doing? Number one Kansas football fan in the world, Mr. Plaster. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, he's going to get that easy. Dang it. Watch out for my wide receiver being offsides. I think I'll be all right. That's not even a penalty in this game. Adam's still sleeping. He's trying to find something on YouTube to watch. Well, I am here. I am your savior. I am all you need. Play action. Moreno. Oh, no, baby. Say it ain't so. <laughs> you want some so hard. Come on, man. You know, I changed your name in the Discord server like a year ago, and you just noticed. <laughs> it's been a long time, man. That is just too funny. <laughs> Alright, Bama came to play today. quarterback sweep in this formation. Like, I'm going to do that with a 45-speed quarterback. All right, Ballard, nine yards. I like that. We like those. Did some Christmas shopping today. Nice. What'd you get? What am I getting in the mail? Oh, dang it. Another good run for Dalton. First down, Bulldogs. And linebacker comes through unblocked, and Mr. Garrett uh, gets nothing. That is really unfortunate.
pretty good run up the middle, about six yards. I think I'm gonna run again. Why not? Let's go halfback dive. Dalton's nasty with the juke. Absolutely. Just so fast. Oh my goodness. That corner just broke his ankles so hard. Weren't active on Discord because of a career change. That's understandable. I mean, I wasn't active at all in my server, my own server, but I didn't have anything going on, really. Oh! Oh, the spin move! Oh my god! Get him out of here! Ole! Parker Thomas! What up, Parker? How you doing, brother? We gotta watch that spin move again. I'm sorry. Hello, sir. Whoop! Oh, he had no idea what happened to him. Oh, man. He went into the next dimension. Let's go, Ballard. Good run. Inside the 25-yard line. Just trying to be a little more balanced with the offense. It's working out so far on this one. Put that man in the blender, absolutely. Oh my, oh my goodness. Woo. And that will end the first quarter already. All we've been doing is just running the ball. All tied up, seven apiece here in Starkville, Mississippi. Been dealing with some nonsense for three years. You know what, Parker? Me too, buddy. All right, where, why is my, why are we just not blocking? You know, what's going on there? And where's Dalton? He's just dead. There we go. First down, baby. I really would like to know where Dalton is. He can't be this tired, right? His Ballard's about to be exhausted and come off the field. I don't remember who our third string running back is, to be honest with you. There we go, there's Dalton. Get a little bit of speed on the field. Oh my! Okay, I didn't juke him out. That's tough. Alright, third down. Seven to go. Try to get this ball to our boy Davis. Coming across the middle. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Let's go, baby. Too easy. He's just too good. All right, we only have 18 passing yards, which is really strange for this team. But we got a touchdown out of it. 14 to 7 now. That's going left. Perfect kick though. Let's go. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the streams now that I'm back to streaming. The good old foosball. Oh, nice deflection. 
gonna try to stream every day. I won't be able to Friday and Saturday this week though. So I'll have my kids. But Sunday night, we'll definitely get back to streaming. Good play right there from Moreno. Been playing Retro Bowl College. Nice. All right, third down and nine for the Tide. Thrown. Bulldog defense gets the stop. Come on, baby. Somebody block me, please. Nobody's blocking? Oh, no. I was expecting to get laid out and fumble it right there. I tried to call a fair catch just a little too late. Two guys, and still comes through for the sack. Outrageous. Ninety first ranked defense in the country for Bama. And it definitely shows we're almost to a hundred yards rushing already in this game. Easiest time we've had running the ball so far. And we are five for five on third downs. Too easy. Closing in on a thousand yards receiving. Fullback blast time. And everybody blitzed. Awesome. Really good stuff. Love that. Third down, seven yards to go. And a false start. So this drive's great. <laughs> Come on, man. That's really unfortunate. Oh, no way. Oh, my goodness. 45 speed, Napoleon Watson breaking a tackle to get the first down on the ground. That is outrageous. That defender should be embarrassed. Five speed. Oh my god. Okay, Ballard, first down. Even Ballard hit some juke moves, man. Throw 
Throwing up top. Oh, he came down with it inside the two-yard line. Let's go. That was a pretty play. I don't know if anybody else has caught a pass yet. Ballard in for the Bulldog touchdown as we extend our lead to two scores. We're just crushing them on the ground. Plays 53 yards, three or four off the clock for the dogs. All right, back out of defense. See if we can get a three and out yet again. Uh oh. Oh, we got a sack. Let's go. Who got him? Neil. That is a beautiful thing. First timeout. Would love to get the ball back again here. Try to get some more points before the half to send the lead a little bit more. All right, we got one timeout left now. A minute and a half to work with. We can definitely score quickly with this offense. Yeah, the defense is definitely playing lights out right now. Oh, nobody blocked. Come on, man. We got 12 first downs to Alabama's four. We can't get him with a play action here. Oh, man. Well, that's unfortunate. Completely unblocked. Second down, 17 now for the sack. Roy open, comes down with it. Let's go, Roy. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, no. Tried to pitch that. <laughs> it almost worked, guys. All right, I tried. Don't be hating. Over up top to the tight end on the corner route. Comes down with it at the 30. We're going to go no huddle. Try to. It's not going to let us because of this dang replay. There we go. Come on, Brooks. Get up. Get up, brother. I don't know how I threw that, but I'm glad it hit the dirt. My goodness. All right, we still, we got one timeout. Not in field goal range for the freshman kicker. Come on. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're just going to have to try a field goal now. All right. This will be a 39-yard field goal try for the freshman kicker, Rick Hayes. Yo, what up, Jared? What's going on, brother? Glad to see you, my friend. All right, we got the accuracy. Do we have the leg? Rick Hayes boots it through the upright. 40-yarder for the freshman. And that'll extend our lead 24 to seven as we go into the locker rooms for halftime. We will kick it off to start the third. And we have dominated uh, pretty much every part of this game so far. Hundred plus rushing yards already, which is really impressive. Oh, he just ran right around us. My goodness. All right, we get 100 passing yards, 113 rushing. Alabama just 83 yards of offense there in the first half against the ninth-ranked defense of Mississippi State. Tough contest coming up next as we travel to Knoxville, Tennessee to take on the fourth ranked Volunteers. wide open. Where the heck was the coverage there? That was man coverage. I guess not. UTEP and Nevada scoreless in the second quarter as well as Fresno State and Tulsa. What is going on there? Awkward. Double coverage on the tight end. And we're switching up now. All right. Oh, that's a nice tackle by the D-line. Bama trying to get some points on the board again. It's been a struggle this game for them. Almost caught that one-handed. That would have been a great play. Instead, it is third down, or fourth down, rather, and five to go. They're going to punt the ball away with Thomas. And a really good punt inside the 10-yard line, out around the six. Absolutely destroyed. Five catches, 52 yards for Kevin Davis with the touchdown. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that poor linebacker. That was embarrassing. That was like when Tom Brady juked out Brian Erlacher. He's wide open. 
Oh, he got it. Run, Kevin. All the way to the 39-yard line. Play action got him. Didn't even have to pump fake to freeze the corner. Anderson in motion to the left side. Okay. He'll just come through unblocked. That's fine. for a split second, but didn't have enough time to throw it at the end there. Let's go posts. Hawkins, oh, almost picked off. And Sammy Williams, the corner, has injured his arm on the play. We're going to punt this one away. Will look to be a pretty decent drive. Stalls out. That's not a very good punt. Come on, Kramer, get there. Ah, dang it. Not fast enough. Didn't quite get the accuracy on it. Upper arm bruise for Williams. He would return to the ball game. Bama still not out of it yet. 24 to 7 score here in the third quarter. Wow. Moreno got trucked. What's going on, Marvin? Good to see you, buddy. That was a nice tackle. A lot of games are just scoreless in the second quarter. What is going on in college football this week? Like, what the heck? <laughs> you think it's done, John? Oh, man. Don't jinx me, please. Third down two. Pull back. And they're going to get the first down easily. Still got them 4 a.m. shifts, huh, Marvin? That's tough, man. All right, bro, get your money. Get that paper. I'm blitzing. I'm doing it. I got blocked. Didn't matter. He didn't really get too far. Maybe a yard. All right, second down and 10 for Bama. That's a good tackle. Corbin May, the freshman outside linebacker with a stop. They're down at six coming up. Just over a minute to go in the third. Oh my goodness. Woodard, how do you get beat like that, brother? You're killing me, Woodard. You're killing me. Man, that's crazy. He had way too much time to throw that. That's really upsetting. Dang it. I read that so perfectly, too. Couldn't quite get a hand on the ball. That was a good 
good tackle. Called for a face mask. That is so unfortunate. Man. I played that perfectly, too. That is going to do it for the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat. Can we hang on in Starkville, Mississippi against the Alabama Crimson Tide? We're up 24 to 7. You're going to take away every defensive player's scholarship. That's tough. Oh, we're just bouncing around. Falling all over the place on that play. Nevada and UTEP still scoreless in the third quarter. As well as Fresno State against 0-9 Tulsa. What is happening? That's crazy. Alabama threatening inside the five-yard line. And Woodard comes up from a strong safety spot, making a nice tackle. His sixth of the ball game, second for a loss. We got third and four coming up. Let's go Whitman. Middle linebacker and Corbin May are going to blitz. So May and Salazar. Who am I covering? All right, I got the inside tight end. And he overthrows his target by a mile. Both quarterbacks having a decent day. No interceptions. Not a lot of attempts, honestly. And if I was Alabama, I, I would definitely kick a field goal here, to be honest. Let's go quarterback spy. On the four-yard line. Got to get a touchdown here. And we get the sack. Let's go. Neil. I think that's his second of the ball game. That was a big-time stop. And we're just going to try to run the ball again. And get out of here with a pretty good win. Okay, he got through those blockers real quick, huh? Five yards for Dalton. I have to throw it here. Third down seven coming up. Oh my. Hawkins got him. First down, Mississippi State. Stiff Armand. Loss of, I think, two yards on the run. Another scoreless game on the bottom ticker. My goodness. Give this one off to Robbie Ballard. It's maybe two or three yards. Yeah, we're going to have to try to throw it again here. They're down a nine coming up. Four, 
One on one coverage. Hawkins can't get there. We're going to punt it away. Let's defense get back out there. White on for the punt. Come on, Kramer, get there. Let's go. Good tackle. At around the 30-yard line. I'm all right with letting the defense get back out there. Totally fine with it. Man, we got to clean up our missed tackles because if, if, <laughs> if we go into Knoxville, Tennessee against the Volunteers and we miss a lot of tackles, we're going to be in deep, deep trouble. Another tackle for Woodard. I think that's number seven for him on the day. And I just missed that, and so does the receiver. Really great try there from the wide receiver. I believe that was Randall. And they're going to go for it, fourth and three. From the, what, 38-yard line. Get him, boys. Oh. Dang it. And Woodard makes another tackle. A little zone coverage here. Three minutes to go in the contest. Oh, Grimes at the last second reaches his mitt in there and swats it away. No way he caught that. We deflect it, and he still catches it. Randall is pretty dang good. Great concentration. He's wide open. I mean, I'm covering three receivers by myself there. What am I supposed to do? deep half and it's just like where's my corner help on the left nowhere damn it closing the gap a little bit but do they have enough time to get back in this thing Ten plays 69 yards nice They're gonna go onside kick here. That's a big boy. <laughs> that is a big, big boy on the hands team. My goodness, it wasn't really the hands team, but we had to make do. bounds there. Got a little too excited. Pretty good season for Dalton. 620 yards, five touchdowns on the ground. And Ballard spinning up past the sticks. Man, I swear every game is scoreless right now. What is going on? That has to be a glitch. That I've never noticed in my life. Let's go, Garrett. Four, maybe five yards for Garrett.
Less than two minutes remaining. And Dalton picks up three. Family going to start calling their timeouts now. Pretty excited to take on Tennessee after this one. That should be a really good contest. Man, we get no blocking on third down there. Yeah, that would be a 49-yard field goal. There's no way I'm making that. We'll go for it. Why not? My goodness, there's no way he caught that. I thought that was going to be a pick. What a beautiful play. Now we can continue to run the clock down. Linebacker shifting over to the left. And back to the right. And a great tackle. My goodness. Them linebackers can get in there pretty dang quick. Bama calls their final timeout of the contest. There you go, Dalton. Nice five-yard carry. Down and five coming up. Less than a minute remaining. And Watson. Oh, my goodness. The 45-speed quarterback moves the chains again. Gotta take what they give us, you know? And Ballard trucking a guy gets up to the one yard line. They're gonna get player of the game <laughs> to the quarterback of the losing team. That is unfortunate. How often do you see that? Ballard should get player of the game. That's the second touchdown of the contest. Pretty decent day on the ground for him. Had to get another touchdown to get some style points for us. And we pretty much just dominated in the rushing attack. 154 yards on the ground, 167 through the air. Not a lot of offense, but enough. And we controlled the clock. Extra point up, and it's good. Let's play 48-yard drive for the touchdown. 31 to 14, just seven seconds remaining. That's going to go way out of bounds. That's all right. No kick return touchdown. That's how I see it. That's a penalty I'm okay with having. going to do it here in Starkville, Mississippi. 31-14 is the final. Alabama no longer in contention for a bowl game. They're 3-7. and seven. We are 9-0 and oh right now, heading into the biggest game on the schedule. Hey, have a good night, Marvin. Something about the simple graphics you really love. It's just so clean, you know? It's so nice. 
Hey, the biggest stat of the day right there. Zero turnovers. We didn't have any takeaways either. Well, we just controlled the ground game. And got it. I think that was a pretty pretty easy win, honestly. We shut them out in two quarters. The second and the third. Watson, 150 yards. Touchdown. No pick. 10 of 14. 71 percentage. Uh, sacked three times, though. Dalton, 78 yards. Robbie Ballard, 63. Garrett had 10. Watson had three, even though he had some pretty good ones. Two touchdowns for Ballard. One for Garrett. Receiving Kevin Davis, 6 for 90. And a touchdown. One drop. Jared Woodard, the true freshman, strong safety, eight tackles. And Carl Salazar, sophomore middle linebacker with five. We had four tackles for loss as a defense. Two sacks for Dan Neal, sophomore D-tackle. No picks, but we did have three pass deflections. And there's just never any fumbles. So. Rick Hayes, one of one, along with 40 today. And John White did pretty good punting the ball, 48.5 yard average. All right. Now let's go to Knoxville, Tennessee for the final game of the night or day, depending on when you're watching this post live stream. I realize not everybody can make the live streams and that is totally fine. Go ahead and save it. Do, 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 oh, the music. It's the only thing, one of the things I don't like, you know, it's saving so the music stops. I want to jam out, you know? Do, 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 do. This gives me a reason to do this. My beautiful graphic. Oh, we did drop some frames in there. First time we dropped any frames so far. No memory card was found with sufficient space. What? What you talking about? Hold up. Wait a minute. Go ahead and save this on our second memory card as well. Come on now. There we go. We got a little bit more space on there. 99,808 kilobytes. Definitely helps to have things saved in multiple memory cards just in case. Mr. Chicken! What's going on? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Playing off a legit PS2? Absolutely, buddy. That's how we do it around here. That's the only way I've ever done it. There we go. All right, so we got that saved on that one. All right, simulate the week, shall we? game of the season. 9-0 Mississippi State traveling to Knoxville, Tennessee to take on the second ranked Tennessee Volunteers in an SEC showdown. Here's the matchup. They are in the top 40 for everything. Top 25 for most things on offense. We have the number one passing attack in the land. We did not use our passing attack very much against Alabama. Tried to run the ball a little bit more and that got us into the top 100 for rushing yards per game. I'll take it. We got the number 11 offense. They got the number 16. And uh, yeah, 
Let's uh, take a quick gander at their schedule. I remember they lost uh, not too long ago. Unless I'm tripping. Here we go. Yeah, just a few, few games back. Started off beating Tulsa 56-10. I mean, that's a cakewalk of a schedule if I've ever seen one. Oh my goodness. The only team with a winning record that they beat so far was Florida. And they lost to Auburn. Good big win from Auburn because Tennessee was number one at that time. They beat Georgia, so that's their biggest win of the season. And that's the only time Georgia's lost all year. And they beat Miami, who's struggling this season. They got waxed by Florida State, sadly. It hurts my soul to say that. But they lost by like 30. So, Miami in a down year. Alright, so Tennessee, just one big win on the year. Yeah, that's what I want. PA only. Get out of here. Alright, see what they got to say about our coach, my grandpapa. Uh, nothing really. Well, we're on a nine-game winning streak after we lost our bowl game at the end of last season. Trying to correct that. Let's get it. Let's get it. You just found the stream and decided to watch? Well, I'm glad that you tuned in, man. Appreciate you stopping by for sure. Hopefully you keep coming back. We do have a Discord community as well if you fancy joining that. Link is in the description below. Hopefully the link still works. I'm not 100 percent sure if it does or not. Alright, number 15, Mississippi State, number two, Tennessee. Let's get it. Yeah, we got a pretty good uh, group of viewers on this channel. Everybody's pretty great. Really good community we got here. And definitely glad to be uh, back to streaming football. It's been quite some time uh, without a computer, without being able to actually stream things that I enjoy. But we're back at it. Here in Knoxville, Tennessee, at Neyland Stadium. That's where our college football action set to begin. And we've got more rain in the forecast for today's game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Volunteers of Tennessee. Here come the Volunteers. Oh, that crowd is loud in my headset. Wow. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet to bring you today's game. And it's got to be exciting for college fans everywhere as we prepare for the national championship with this incredible season drawing closer to an end. The Bulldogs are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think you're exactly right about this. Mississippi State is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. The He's got the mustache. The is simple. Mississippi State is not going to be intimidated by this defense at all. I think okay. they've got a great shot if they throw the ball deep, early, and score. Kirk, I'm calling for an upset in this one. Thanks, guys. Let's head down. All right, what do you guys think? Lee wants us to throw it deep and early and often. Should we do it? Should we oblige Lee Corso? I want the ball. Give me the ball right now. My mama didn't raise no punk. Let's get it, boys. I'm kind of afraid of the running back just a little bit. He's got the mustache. That's going to be tough to beat. M -m -m my Moreno is dead. All right. In front of 100,000 plus crazy fans here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Forget about the profile. It's trash. There you go, Ballard. Started off with a nice run up the gut. Mr. Dar, how is it? How's it going, buddy? We shall throw it deep. All right, Mr. Chicken, for you, we're doing it. Let's go. We do like the deep ball here. No pause. What's up? And Roy, that's not a 
a deep pass, but we're, we're gonna get there. Just you wait. The thunder. Play action deep shot. Oh, we're definitely going play action right here just for you, buddy. Oh, no. No, you ruined it, Flores. How could you? With your hideous orange jersey. You ruined my plan. I'm furious. Got a girlfriend now? Nice. Love that. That's unfortunate. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna keep going back to it. All right, we're doing this. Don't you worry. It's raining, but I don't care. Number six in the country, fifty percent on third down. Come on, Roy. We're at the six. That's gonna be close. I don't think he got it. Fourth and inches. We're going for it. What's up? Fullback dive. Give it to Mr. Garrett. Come on, O-line, what you gonna do? You gonna block for me? What's up? Let's go. Alright, the offense is clicking a little bit. I like it. Throwing it deep. Come on, Davis. Let's go. Inside the 15-yard line, Kevin Davis, the junior wide receiver. I don't care that it's raining. I'm throwing it. Dang it. like a little bit of pass interference right there. The refs are just letting the boys play, I guess. Right. Davis might squeeze past the strong safety there. Oh, tight end's wide open instead. And touchdown, Mississippi State. Let's go. What a beautiful drive. Tossing that lovely pig skin in the rain. Young tight end gets a touchdown. I think that's his third on the season. Eighty yards passing on the first drive of the ball game. Now we get to go out on defense and try to stop the the mustache man at running back, Mr. Bridges, I believe his name was. Nine play, 81 yard touchdown drive, 224 off the clock. Harris back deep to return for Tennessee. And he's going to kneel it. All right, they're going to come out. Shotgun set, three receivers, running back and a fullback. Look out, fullback's got black sleeves on. Look out, man. He's about to have a crazy day. And George Tyler gets there just in time and makes a nice collision with Marsh, forcing the drop pass. Get him. Let's go. What are you going to do, Tennessee? What are you going to do? Let's go 4-3. Safe. Crowd's getting a little too quiet. Oh, nice play. Nice tackle. Oh, my goodness. 
That's Corbin May, the freshman right outside linebacker, getting the stop on third down. And a quick three and out for the Volunteer offense. And no blocking for Webb. We're going to fair catch this around the 32-yard line. And we're going to continue the sky attack. To Roy on the corner. He's got him. Let's go. Oh, I thought he stayed in bounds. Oh, my goodness. We're torching the right side. 94 yards passing. Man, that was a big-time reception for Roy. Lightning and the thunder. Oh, my. Webb in the end zone. Got him. Oh, he dropped it. Orlando say it ain't so, baby. Oh, it was a perfect throw from Napoleon Watson. Man, dropped it right in the bucket. Couldn't hang on. That is unacceptable. Got the tight end, and it looked like it bounced off of his his hands as well. Man, we got a third and ten coming up. Let's go quick slants. Gonna try to hit Roy over the middle. I'm gonna send Davis deep on the right sideline. Hit him with a pump fake. Didn't get it. And that's picked off. Get him, Watson. Keep in front of you. Well, that's unfortunate, guys. This is the first pick of the season for Wiggins. Sorry, right. at least it wasn't a pick six. That's what we did against Kentucky. Give me the ball. Throw me the ball. And I'll just let it bounce off my back. That's cool. So, right, we'll get the ball back. Only two rushing yards uh, combined in this game so far. Even though they highlighted the Tennessee running back before the start of this, uh, before the start of the game. I don't even think he's got one carry yet, and there's an interception just like that for Singleton. Let's go, Earl Singleton, baby. Middle linebacker, or left outside linebacker rather. I'll throw a pick, you'll throw a pick, you know, it's a give and take relationship. Alright, we're going back to the air, I just don't care. Alright, safety is near the line of scrimmage, and uh, we lose against four defensive linemen. Whole right side of my line just got decimated. Second down and what, 17? Yes, sir. One on one coverage. Hawkins can't get there. Just overthrew him. Double cross. Oh my goodness. Jumped right in front of the route. That was a great play. Uh, let's see, fourth and 17. We're on the 45 yard line.
Hawkins. Got him. Oh, he's gone. Run, Hawkins. Touchdown. Mississippi State on fourth and 17. We get 45. What a beautiful play. Man, look at that dive. So pretty. All right, we have negative six rushing yards, but that's totally fine. Rick Hayes on for the extra point. It's up, and it's good. 14 nothing. Let's five play, 38-yard drive. 2.14 left in the first quarter. I was being held for an eternity there. Alright, defense. Now, to be fair, uh, Tennessee's only had the ball on offense for, what, four plays so far? Oh, he caught that in double coverage. That's crazy. back has had a single carry yet in this game after they said that he was going to go crazy at least Kirk said that yeah good luck perfect blitz Woodard from the strong safety position comes up makes a nice stop running back finally gets a carry and goes absolutely nowhere a route that you just can't cover in this game. You can't see it. It goes so far off the screen. Dang near impossible to cover. And nice catch for Alexander breaking the tackle. And Tennessee is moving. Where's he going? Where's he going? Nice deflection. I don't know why they're highlighting Grimes. He did nothing on the play. Second down and 10. Tennessee looking to get on the board. And they nearly threw another interception to Singleton, the left outside linebacker, who was just hanging out, waiting for the ball to come his way. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Thought for sure we were going to get a sack there. Luckily, uh, we deflected that away. I don't know how he escaped. How did he possibly throw that ball? That's crazy. And fourth down and ten. They're going to go for it here. We are two for two on fourth down. This is their first fourth down attempt of the ball game. They're already in desperation mode, looks like. And I misplayed that. I thought he was going to keep coming through on the slant. 
Instead, he cut it up field. I still almost made the play. I got deep middle with George Tyler. Oh my goodness, Corbin May with a nice deflection. He's been outstanding as a true freshman playing right outside linebacker for us this season. What a great play. I'm going to send him on the blitz now off the left side. What's the best route in the game? Oh man, that's tough. That's a good question. It might be the slant where the receiver doesn't actually make a cut. He just runs straight. Straight across the field. That or the corner. Corner's fantastic too. But you gotta have a good receiver. Nice deflection again for Corbin May. Oh my goodness. A lot of routes. I mean, pretty much every route in this game works. It's hard to say which one is like the clear best but those two are my favorite that I mentioned final play of the first quarter Tennessee looking for a field goal here kick is up and it is good they're on the board 14 to 3 as we head into the second quarter here in Knoxville Tennessee Try to run the ball a little bit here. I can't be going the whole game with negative rushing yards now. Well, that's not going to help too much. Yeah, this is the slant I'm talking about. If you look it over over at Davis, he's just going to run in a, in a straight line across the middle. And he should have caught that. But I, I love that route. Third down to nine. Big play. Oh, I'm screwed here. Oh, I just had to eat that one. UTEP, number one in the country. And Auburn beats Georgia. That's Georgia's second loss on the season. Huge, huge win for the Tigers. Tennessee, a little bit of momentum now. Oh, my goodness. Stanton, you're so slow. What's going on, buddy? Nice tackle, though. Mr. Chicken is back. Welcome back, Mr. Chicken. There goes that running back. His best carry so far. I think he's only got two. Definitely want to keep him in front of us, though. Your team is so bad, it's demotivating. That's tough. <laughs> Oh, nice catch on the sideline by Alexander. That's going to move the chains for Tennessee. What team are you using, Brandon? Toss play. Look out. Oh, he's quick. My goodness. Three carries, 19 yards. You know, it took a full quarter for them to get their running back involved. Just really strange for some reason. I, I don't know why they would... 
wait that long to give it to their star player. Pull back. Man, he goes nowhere. Alright, they're going to stick with the I formation. Mississippi State, ninth ranked defense in the country. Doing pretty good today. It's really your quarterback throwing bad passes to open guys that get picked. That is extremely unfortunate. I've been there, man. I have definitely been there. They're down at nine for Tennessee. Got to hold them here. Got to hold them. And he drops it. Wow. That was a perfect route. Perfect throw. USC beat Arizona 72-3. Get absolutely destroyed. Wow. My goodness. Larson on for the field goal attempt. Kick is up from Larson, and that is perfect. Right down the middle. Seven play, 29 yard drive. It's 14 to 6 now. Good return from Moreno up past the 25 yard line. Time for our offense to get something going here. Dalton, about six or seven. Good run for Ballard. Oh my goodness. Trucking through a defender. That looked like a linebacker. Put him right on his back. Flexing on him. Let's go, Robbie. Yeah, that was definitely a linebacker. Looks like number 50. He was so bad, they're going to have him off the field for this play. <laughs> Chaos driven. What's going on, my brother? How you doing? Say hello to uh, Mr. Chicken. New viewer. Simply the best, the GOAT. All right, second down and eight. All right, we're sending Davis deep. We're sending Hawkins deep. Come on, Hawkins. Oh, my goodness. It bounced straight off his hands. Come on, brother. That's extremely unfortunate. All right, third down and eight from our own 47-yard line. And my goodness. That was unfortunate. Well, we'll punt it away again. Less than three to go here in the first half. going to get there. Dang it. Yeah, don't mind all the new records. None of that actually means anything. My PS2 just doesn't know how to just save one profile and keep it the same profile. Yeah, that happened. Get him, Moreno. Okay. Yep. Tennessee. Starting to show why they're number two in the country. That boy is 
is fast. But Moreno is fast, fast. Let's go. That was a really unfortunate play <laughs> for the defense. Option. Uh oh, I I'm just by myself here. What am I supposed to do with that? Okay, just like that, Tennessee probably going to go for two points here to try to tie things up. Oh, they're going to go for the extra point. So it will be a one-point ball game. Still got the lead. Just got to figure out the offense again. There we go, Orlando. Cutting up field, getting the first down. Webb having a pretty good season. 20 catches, 424 yards, 5 touchdowns. Take off, baby. 45 speed. Napoleon Watson picks up seven. Quick pass to Brooks. Tight end. First down inside volunteer territory. to the left side, or complete a pass to the left side, rather. Maybe this will be the one. Hawkins, wide open, first down. No huddle again, let's go. Keep it moving. And Davis, oh, he can't hang on. Crushed in the end zone. And drops the touchdown. Number six in red zone percentage on the season. Cletus! Breaking a tackle, gets the first down inside the five yard line. Good old Cletus Pace. Hoping Watson didn't get hurt, he's just tired. Forty seconds left in the first half. And everybody just blitzes off the edge. for the touchdown for Mississippi State. Let's go. Big time touchdown. 
What a drive. Next point is up, and it is good. 10 play, 81 yard drive. Two minutes, 12 seconds off the clock. 21 to 13 is the score here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah, that was a huge, huge touchdown drive. And that will do it for the first half. Number 15, Mississippi State on top, 21-13 over the number two, Tennessee Volunteers. Pretty close contest as far as yards and everything goes and points. Not too far off. See if the defense can step up. He's wide open. Oh, he drops it. That was a great throw, great route and everything. Just couldn't hang on. Hey. Surprised they're not using their running back more. It's only got a few carries so far in this game. As I say that, they give it to him on a draw for two yards. So he's got six carries, 29 yards and a touchdown. I mean, I would be feeding him at, at least, you know, half the plays should go to him. Third and eight this is a big play for Tennessee. And Vance has it at the 30. Is it enough for the first down? It is not. Fourth and one coming up. They're going to have to punt it away. Orlando Webb averaging nine yards per punt return this season. The problem is uh, we just don't have a lot of punt returns. Nobody blocks enough. Get that block, please. Nope, no block. And he's, oh my goodness, he is crushed. Wide open, close to the sticks. And Ballard gets a nice run right up the middle for the first down. He is now over 300 yards rushing on the season with seven touchdowns. Kind of reminds me of Lendell White when USC had Reggie Bush and White in the backfield. Second down and seven. Oh, here we go. Nice blocking. And a big run for Dalton inside the 40-yard line. That's first down. Oh, 
Ross gonna throw it to Davis. Didn't have enough time. Let's go with post. Send a web deep up the middle. He's got him beat. And he caught it and dropped it. That would have been a touchdown. I think that's the second touchdown that Orlando Webb has dropped in this contest. And that is just highly unacceptable, if I do say so myself. Oh, high snap. That messed up the whole play. High snap. Pressure got there so fast. I really only had one option. That was to throw to Webb. Even though he was going to be short. If I threw that deep downfield, it would have been well short of the mark and intercepted most likely. This might be alright. Oh no. Dang it. Not far enough to the left. Alright defense, back to it. Let's go boys. Still an eight-point ball game here in the third quarter. And that is overthrown out of bounds. Just 30 yards on the ground for Bridges so far. They have not given him enough carries, in my opinion. And another overthrow. Luckily, because I got beat by a couple steps there. And Tennessee going to punt it away. So we're just trading punts at this point. Still a one possession game. He didn't block. Oh, he blocks him at the last second. All right, what are we going to do here? Let's play, let's do Zig. The stream is now at 69 views. <laughs> nice. For the culture. And no blocking. I've been sacked uh, six times. Four of them by Flores. Oh my goodness. Somebody get a body on him, please. Hawkins. Nice catch. He's got four for 76 yards. They're down in six coming up. Try to hit Webb over the middle. It's going to be close to the marker. Got him. And inside the 40-yard line. A really good play. Finally got some passing yards to the left side of the field. Man, this thunder is insane. This is our third rain game of the season. High snap. Why not? Throw it up to Davis. He's huge. And he comes down with it. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Let's go. No way he should have caught that. Double coverage. He's just so much bigger. And I'm not sure what number 42 was doing. His brother got lost in the sauce. That was a huge touchdown. We're up to 300 yards passing now. And back to a two-touchdown lead over Tennessee. Extra 
extra point for Rick Hayes is up and it's good. Four play, 59 yard touchdown drive, minute 16 off the clock. It's 28 13 with 2.12 remaining in the third. trying to put the team on his back. That was a fantastic return. Just making everybody look silly. My goodness. Look at two spin moves. Option. Oh, quarterback sweep. Oh my goodness. Oh, I will not be your Valentine. You just stiff arm me into next week. Look at the strength from the quarterback. Oh my, I was mid dive. And he said, Get out of here, son. Complete overthrown. Valentine just 8 of 22 today. Watson just hovering above 50% completion percentage. In another rain game. Second down and 10. Yeah, that is way out of bounds. All right, let's go dime. Cover two on a third and 10. Oh my goodness. I was right there for the play. Just couldn't get the ball away from him. That is so unfortunate. Valentine looking for his first touchdown of the day. And nice deflection over the middle. Looked like that was Grimes, number one. I'm going to blitz both outside linebackers here. Try to get some pressure on them. They've been doing a few outside runs here and there. I'm going to try to counter that. i got to cover the halfback. Okay, we'll just, we'll just stand there and watch them catch it. That's fine. That's a big-time touchdown for Tennessee. Valentine gets his first of the night. Come on, Moreno, you're better than that, brother. And they're going to go for the, just the single point here. Make it an eight-point ball game. And it is 28-20 to 20 now. Six play, 50-yard drive, 47 seconds off the clock. start the drive. He's got 30 yards on six carries. Not a lot of touches for him. Oh man, if he could have spun him out, 
He would have been gone. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, but he didn't. Fullback can't find any space. That'll bring up second down and nine. And we're just going to let this go into the fourth quarter. Get your fours up in the chat. We're hanging on right now, 28 to 20. On top of the number two Tennessee Volunteers in Knoxville. See if we can't hang on for the dub. Yeah, nice juke move. Gets Dalton about three yards up the middle. Davis and he got him inside the 20 yard line Kevin Davis you're out there somewhere and you're gonna come down with it four catches 145 yards for the junior wide receiver close game Tennessee's playing pretty good yeah they definitely are man that's why they're number two Look at Davis, over 1,150 yards receiving, eight touchdowns on the season. Oh, nice juke by Ballard. He's going to pick up seven. Look at UTEP, number one. All right, second down and three at the 11th. Hawkins! Oh, he dropped it! Oh, no! Say it ain't so, baby! I'll try to hit Webb over the middle. And, oh my goodness, I, I hit the button, didn't throw it. Watson injures his chest on the play, that is a disaster. But well, we're going to go for the field goal here, make it an 11-point game. Rick Hayes, true freshman kicker. Big, big pressure situation for him. Kick is up, and the freshman gets it through the uprights. Nine play, 65-yard drive, 242 off the clock, resulting... And a field goal from Rick Hayes, 31 to 20, is now the score here in the fourth quarter. In a big, big SEC matchup. Marsh kneels it down in the end zone. They'll start the drive at the 20. Great drive last time out, resulting in a touchdown pass from Valentine. Play was going nowhere. Corbin May, the freshman outside linebacker, gets the deflection. He was all over that route. Easy money. Option. How did he pitch that? Oh no. Oh my goodness. Tyler, you've been stiff armed like three times this game, brother. Figure it out, please. All right, I can't do any formations without Corbin May out there. He's just too good at linebacker. He's as fast as some of our safeties. Less than five to go. 
Oh, they're gonna go quarterback sweep. What in the heck? It actually worked. He got 12 yards. They definitely caught me off guard there, so I guess that worked to perfection. And they're going to run it again. This time, Valentine is brought down rather quickly. That was Singleton, the left outside linebacker on the stop. We're going to actually blitz him. We're going to go uh, crash left. See if Singleton can get in there. Watson out for one week with broken ribs. I believe that counts as just this game. So we'll we'll be seeing him next stream as well. Play action, and that hit the backside of the receiver. And it's going to bring up third down and nine. I'm going to do something risky here. I'm going to go strong safety blitz with Jared Woodard. See if we can get him on the outside here. He's open, and what a play that was to Copeland for the first down. Huge throw. Valentine with ice in his veins. Tyler, I'm, I'm missing all the tackles with George Tyler in this one. I apologize. <laughs> it's, it's been a little rough for me. I missed a couple plays out in the secondary where I could have got the ball or at least deflected it away. I've missed at least three tackles now. Stiff arm twice and just whiffed on that one. Definitely not performing up to my standards. Took a bad angle there. Good lord. Bridges is going to move the chains. He's up to 54 yards on nine attempts with a touchdown. And that is well overthrown. Stops the clock, though. 321 left in the game. Volunteers down 11 points. My goodness that was not good that was great blocking defense is a little bit gassed this has been a fantastic drive for the volunteers we just can't find an answer to them and he's wide open incomplete though not the best catch attempt there Alright, second and goal from the 10. They're going to toss it. And Taylor breaks a tackle and gets it up to close to the 5-yard line. They're going to go no huddle. Oh, let's go! Woodard! Let's go, the true freshman! That might just do it! Oh my goodness, what a pick. I think that might have just sealed the game for us. He is having a hell of a freshman campaign. And I'm not even using him. That's the craziest part. <laughs> so I usually just use the free safety. You go Ballard about five yards up the middle. That's Tennessee's second turnover of the day. Second pick thrown. Alright, try to run the clock down as much as we can. And Garrett gets maybe a yard. I'm going to try to seal it right here. Less than two to go. Third down, four yards to go. About four and a half. 
I got bumped by the corner. And we'll punt it away. That's all right. Not a lot of time left in the game. Come on, Kramer. Nice tackle. Beautiful play. Tennessee still a little bit of time left. Oh my goodness, deflected away by Tyler. Let's go zone blitz. Trying to get some pressure on these QBs this season. We've had a little bit of success. Man, that is overthrown yet again from Valentine. Gotta wonder if the rain is affecting his accuracy just a bit. Oh my goodness, how did he complete that? It's holding anyway by Hebert. Bulldogs looking to go 10 and 0. Trying to get a big time victory versus number two, Tennessee. And we are in good shape right now. Fourth and 20 to go. We do have Ole Miss left on the schedule. Who, at the moment, only has one loss on the season. So another big time game. It's a rivalry. And Woodard gets beat this time. Fourth and 20 and they get it. That's crazy. They are not giving up. They're showing a lot of fight right now. But the clock is not showing a lot of time. where George Tyler is, but I got Pruitt at free safety. I'm scared. I don't know how good he is. Show me what you got, Pruitt. Show me what you got, baby. Oh, Grimes with a pick. Let's go. That'll do it. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. My quarterback's injured. My star free safety's injured. What's going on? it up to about the 30 yard line pretty good run man all these small schools are in the top 25 just killing it this season I mean UTEP is number one for goodness sake Ballard first down and that will just about do it got to run the ball a couple more times here That is definitely a GG's, brother man. And Dalton just got flattened. My goodness. Watson, player of the game, three touchdowns, 344 yards. Lee Corso told me to throw it deep early and often, and we did just that. You're welcome, Lee. Actually, thank you for uh, just a great game plan overall. Crazy old kook. Second down and nine. Somehow I pitched it. We're getting crazy with the option here. All right, we got third and ten. They don't have any timeouts left, so that's it. I'm sitting here thinking they had one timeout left. 
Greatest formation in football. The victory formation, that is. And we're going to come away with an 11-point victory here in Knoxville against the second-ranked Volunteers. Big-time conference victory for us. And that should help us get elevated into the top 10 polls. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully we don't get snubbed. If I'm, Obviously, we still got two games left in the regular season. Uh, we also got to think about the history of of this team in this dynasty we've only got one conference championship and only one bowl victory that's what we're trying to change here we got some unfinished business and that's what we're going for but we still got two more games left to get through and those games will be tomorrow we got sacked six times that is super unfortunate but hey only one turnover we took, uh, took the ball from them three times, three interceptions. That'll help the turnover differential significantly. And we shut them out in the fourth quarter. That was huge. But Tennessee hung, they hung tough. You know, Woodard just had the interception in the end zone. And that was the biggest difference for us. Dalton, 48 yards. Ballard, 44 yards. Clean his pace. Cletus with 10. Davis, 4 for 145 yards today with a touchdown. Freshman tight end John Anderson had a touchdown as well. And so did Ron Hawkins, the sophomore wide receiver. And three drops for Orlando Webb. Two of them should have been touchdowns. My right guard allowed four sacks. I mean, this dude is not getting drafted. Let's be honest. Nobody had more than four tackles. Garcia and Woodard with tackles for a loss. No sacks. Three interceptions, all by different players. Look at the deflections. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pass deflections for the defense. Rick Hayes, one for one field goals. And White, 48-yard punting average today. What a game. Huge victory for us. Later, brother man. Appreciate you stopping by the stream. And that is actually going to do it for this one, guys. We will take on somebody on the next stream. You know, a couple teams from the SEC, I think. <laughs> but if you want to stick around uh, after this is done saving... I will go over the final two regular season contests for us. But in the meantime, I am going to log off the mic and show you guys these games. Hopefully you enjoyed this stream. If you did, please slap the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Join our Discord community. There's a link in the description below. Follow me on Twitter. All that fun, happy stuff. And until tomorrow, take it easy, guys.